Our words carry on enormous weight, a lot more than we sometimes think. They often impact people for decades, providing either courage to press on or one more reason to give up. I would like you to think back in time with me. Have you ever said something that might hurt others' feeling? It might not be on purpose or it might not be directly to them, but have you said, have you said it before? If you have, do you regret it? Let's take a moment to answer that to yourself. Thinking or saying anything that's on our mind is one of the most fascinating features of human body. Studies have shown that many animals have the ability to control their noises, and some are actually capable of mimicking the sound of human speech. However, us humans are the only species that's able to develop a language which is more complex than a set of prearranged signals. The origin of language and how it magically developed is very precisely studied over the last two centuries. Even so, this topic still remains a mystery to all people. Coming back to the present day, there are now more than 500 languages spoken in the world today, which can actually be separated in almost 20 families. Yet, people still use these advantages of ours to bring others down. There are actually many examples from all over the world about how words have impacted the life of a mankind. But today I'll be sharing a st an interesting story of, to you of a young adult called Suli that died from a suicide after being criticized by social media. The sto story of her puts a major, major spotlight on the problem of cyberbullying, mental health issues, and um, bullying. Suli was a South Korean singer, actress, and a model. She entered the Korean industry since 2005 when she was only 15. And in 2009, she made her first debut on a girl group called FX and started to be more recognized in the public. She uses her, her privilege of being famous to spread out words of many issues that remain sensitive in a conservative society like South Korea, for example, like the woman's right. And she also openly shared her experience of mental issues that involve being from such an industry that puts on a lot of pressure on having a wholesome image of an idol. A 25 years old woman insists that women should be able to dress as they please, as she herself was strongly criticized after being caught for not wearing a bra. She then got really stressed about her decision of trying to fight for the woman's right, along with many issues in South Korea. For all this, she was openly attacked by the online trolls, yet she still remains spoken and, fir and firm in her conviction that her haters have no right to silence her from speaking what she think, even though deep down she feel really pressured by all the comments and criticism she receive. Not long after that, October 14, 2000, 2019, Suli was found dead at her home on Monday due to a suicide. It's mainly because of the stress she had from the disapproval opinion of others which affects her mental illness. After her death, people finally start to realize how greatly our work affects others. Although she might not be able to see the impact that she created for South Korea and the world, but her bravery will forever be remembered the woman who rebelled against the K-pop world. To close up, as I've mentioned in my example, I hope that you guys have now noticed the importance of what you said to others. So choose your words carefully because they have the full potential of achieving everything or destroy nearly anything. Just one negative comment might ruin a person's day. A few may end a person's life. On the other hand, one positive encouragement will make more of a difference to an individual than you will ever notice. So next time, remember to think before you speak. It'll make all the difference. Thank you.